Hey y'all, so today I am in a location that I have not been to in a quite a long time. I used to come here a lot when I was in college and shortly thereafter, and that's been over 10 years. And that is Jackson Drag Strip. It is also known as the House of Hook. And I'm here today for the Streetcar Bragging Rights event, where there will be a car show, there's gonna be drag racing, and it's just gonna be a lot of fun. I used to come out here and I actually ran a few times. I had a 94 Trans Am that I loved. It didn't love me back, it tried to kill me twice, but I had a lot of fun running it. And that was the whole point of me running out here was I was having fun. And that is a great segue into why I wanted to shoot this video out here. And that is because for one whole year, I have been editing, creating, shooting, and uploading videos to YouTube. I know I've been on for actually like nine years since like 2013, but I wasn't actually very good at actually uploading videos and I wasn't making videos for YouTube. And so now for one whole year, I've actually been a lot better at that. I have created 51 long form videos and 12 shorts and the reason I figured this was the perfect place to talk about that today is because just like when I was running out in Jackson YouTube is just for fun for me I just eclipsed the 800 uh, subscriber mark and I am really excited about that and I wanted to share about five things that I've learned in my first year of actually filming just for YouTube So this time last year, I had 25 subscribers. I don't know how they found me because I wasn't really regularly uploading to YouTube. I was doing the wrong thing and I was using it kind of as a place where I would store my work so I could show people. And that's not what you need to be doing. You need to be actively creating for YouTube. But now, as of last night, I have reached over 800 subscribers and I am stoked about that number just because it shows that with a little bit of consistency, with a little bit of effort, you can be successful here on YouTube. Don't know if you can see it behind me, but they are doing tech and inspection for the racing. Got to make sure that all the cars are safe so that we can have a big full day of racing out on the track. But anyways, the first thing that I learned in my one year of creating for YouTube is that consistency is key. You have to be putting out at least one video a week, preferably two, maybe even three. And I've been able to do that. Like I said, I did 51 long form videos, 12 shorts over a 52 week span. And really the only break that I really took was to deal with a family issue last week and I didn't post a video last week. So I apologize for that, but I needed a little bit of a break to, you know, just unwind and decompress. But you've gotta be consistent. If you're not consistently posting, especially about the same day, the same time each week, then people aren't going to know when you're gonna post, they're not gonna pay attention to you, and you're not gonna see the growth you want. So consistency is number one and it is king. The number two thing that I learned about being on YouTube is balance. You need to find that good balance between quantity and quality. I've seen a couple videos where they say you need to put the best quality out and then other videos where they say you need to put the most videos out. But you need to find that good balance where you're not sacrificing. Don't put out resolution 480 videos or just crap just to post something. Have a reason, have a purpose, put out good quality videos with your quantity. So number, numbers three and four actually counter each other. Number three is give the people what they want. And number four is make sure that you are still creating for yourself. And when I say give the people what they want, I mean make sure that your channel contributes something. Find something that you enjoy that you can talk about where you are contributing to what people want, whether it be how-to videos, whether it be reviews, whether it just be just for fun videos that, people, that make people smile. You need to give the people what they want and you need to do it at a high quality and then people will want to follow. But at the same time, number four is you still need to create for yourself. You still need to create a few videos that you want to watch and then that means that you'll put the passion in it, you'll enjoy it more and it'll actually show and again people will then follow because you've got the good energy.
And number five, my final tip for what I have learned in my first year being on YouTube is you have to be willing to invest. You have to be willing to invest time, effort, and especially a little bit of money into this. Now I'm not saying you have to go out and buy the most expensive Sony or Blackmagic camera. You don't have to go get the brand new R3. You don't need to go get the DJI Ronin 3. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but you do have to spend some money. I've you know been upgrading my mic. I've upgraded my gimbal. I've upgraded a few things here and there as I could, just investing a little bit of money. And that's kind of what you need to do. And again, you have to invest time and effort. It does take a lot of time to come up with ideas for videos. It comes, it takes a lot of time to shoot the videos, to edit the videos, to post the videos. And so you have to be willing to invest a little bit of money, that time, that effort, and then your channel will continue to grow as mine has done by you know leaps and bounds or even little trickles. But there you have it. Those are the five most important things that I have learned. Hang on, I've got to cross the pit lane here. Those are the five things that I've learned in my first year of being on YouTube and I look forward to continuing to creating and to using these to make some better videos in the next year. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed some of the footage of the racing and I'll catch you in another video.